So what we're going to do for this unit of work is we're going to produce a collage using various found objects, things like wrappers and sweet packets and also natural objects like leaves. And then we are going to, instead of using a grid like we did for a gridded enlargement in the first year to enlarge the collage up to one and a half times the size to turn it into a painting, we're going to use these points of references as our enlargement technique. And then we're going to produce a painting from our collage. Now, to go about producing this piece of work, you will have been asked to bring in various items, about 10 wrappers and about three or four leaves in order to work on the collage and produce something successful for a painting. Perhaps the main thing to mention is that whatever it is you decide to stick down, you are going to ultimately have to paint. So you need to think carefully what it is you bring in to produce your collage. So there's two groups of objects I want you to bring in. First of all, I want you to bring in two animal silhouettes which are going to be produced on half a page of A4 each. And then you go and choose which one you want to use for the collage. And then secondly, you were going to bring in around eight to 10 natural objects, three or four leaves. So you can see this candidate here has got his objects ready to go. He's cut them out. So it's going to make the process more straightforward when it comes to arranging those objects and creating the collage. If somebody comes in like this and just brings in a selection of objects like that, that proves to me they haven't thought carefully about the homework and what they are going to stick down. What I'm going to do is I'll use this as point of reference. So for example, if we look at these examples of items is lots of fine writing and ingredients and barcodes here, quite small lettering, which you wouldn't want to include. So this is the type of thing which could have been done at home. So I'm going to just take part of this. I think I'll Add that to that. That's crumpled, that's no good. That seems to have a lot of repetitive detail, so I don't want to use that. And finally, I think I'll take the ripple letter in too. I'll add that to these objects. So we've got all our objects ready to stick down. 